Uh, good afternoon once again. Good evening to you. So the World Cup has, has barely started, but the controversy just keeps on coming. And now we have the image of the tournament so far. It is of the German team in their team photo ahead of kickoff covering their mouths. Just walk us through this and the significance of this stance. Well, look, first of all, uh, I'd have to say I'm not sure it's the defining image uh, of this World Cup. It certainly is one of the most defining images of this World Cup. Uh, I think the Iranian players refusing to sing their national anthem, that is probably the most defining uh, image of the World Cup because there could be very, very serious repercussions uh, for those players when they return to Iran. As far as uh, what Germany have just done uh, before their game kicked off against Japan, yes, of course, it is going to be a picture uh, which will be remembered for a very long time. It is a very powerful statement that the Germany team uh, are making. We've just had a uh, statement from the German Football Association, the DFB, and they say it wasn't about making a political statement. Human rights are non-negotiable. That should be taken for granted, but it still isn't the case. That's why this message is so important to us. Denying us the armband is the same as denying us a voice. We stand by our position. So a very powerful image, a very powerful statement from the Germany team as well. And then we saw the extraordinary pictures as well of the German interior minister, Nancy Faeser. Uh, now, she, of course, is at the game today. And actually, she was sitting next to Gianni Infantino and she was wearing that one love armband which has caused so much controversy. Look, as far as uh, a lot of people in Germany are concerned, they feel that this World Cup should not be held in Qatar. And they also feel that the German team should not even be playing in this World Cup. There have been street demonstrations in Germany against this World Cup. We've seen uh, scores of banners at Bundesliga games uh, protesting against the World Cup being held in this country. Uh, lots of uh, bars and pubs uh, not showing uh, World Cup games in Germany as well. And you've shown, we've seen the strength of feeling there is uh, in Germany against this World Cup from the players and also from the highest levels uh, of the German government. One other uh, update I'll give you that I think is significant as far as uh, German football is concerned. Uh, last night, one of the German Football Association's main commercial partners, a company called REWE, who are one of the biggest supermarket chains in Germany, uh, they said that they were so disappointed uh, with the fact that FIFA had refused to allow the German team captain, Manuel Neuer, to wear that one love armband, that they had terminated their commercial agreement with the German Football Association. Uh, their chief executive, uh, Lionel Souk, said, we stand for diversity and football is diversity. The scandalous behaviour of FIFA is for me, as the CEO of a diverse company, as well as a football fan, absolutely unacceptable.